Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm here at an authorized Taylor Distribution Center with a certified Taylor technician, Justin. Justin, how long have you been doing this for? I'm celebrating 20 years with the Taylor Company. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. Now, I noticed you have a patch on your sleeve here. What, did your mom sew that on? Did you get that in the Boy Scouts? How do you, how do you get that patch? You know, we have to earn these patches. Every distributor has to send at least 20% of its workforce to the factory for this training. And through years of service in the field and that training, we earn these badges. Excellent. So the word on the street is that 94% of the time, if you guys go out on a job, you can, you can fix the problem the first time. You don't have to send back for parts or come back again. Is that true? That's, that's very true. With all the parts you can see here in our office, we, we have everything we would ever possibly need. And then on our vans that we take to the job sites, we carry enough parts so we have a very, very high success rate of first time fixes. Awesome. So we're surrounded by racks and racks and racks of parts. So, I mean, basically you guys have everything you'd ever need to fix anything, right? Yes, we, we really do. Like we were saying earlier, between the, our parts department here at our office and our vans, we can fix pretty much anything that could ever go wrong with a piece of Taylor equipment. Great. Well, I've developed a little bit of a test just to see how knowledgeable you are about the parts. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Great. So I'm going to randomly pick some parts. I'm going to hold them up to you and you tell me what they are. We'll start easier, like with this guy. That's about as simple as it comes. You're right. That's a scraper blade, part number 46237. You're right. Bingo. What about, uh, what about this guy? All right. We're getting a little tougher. That one is uh, it's a start capacitor for a compressor or a beater motor. It helps it run more efficiently and save the customer um, energy costs. But be honest, sometimes you call this the flux capacitor, don't you? You know what? I really do when I, I want to look cool. I think you do, yeah. Uh, what about this guy? This is a little more difficult, right? It is. That's actually um, an expansion valve, part number 46365. That's used to meter refrigerant into the, the evaporators on a Taylor machine to give it a nice fast freeze down time. Nice. Important when you're dealing with things like ice cream, right? Yes, sir. Uh, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's throw you a curveball. This is a part that you might not be as familiar with and you might not use every day. What's this guy? <laughs> You're right, Jeff. That is not a Taylor OEM part. That looks to me like it's a toilet flapper. That's exactly what it is, Justin. So not only do you know your way around the Taylor parts, you know your way around a toilet. And I admire that in a man. <laughs> Thank you. So there you have it, folks. Don't trust servicing your equipment or your parts to anything less than the best. If it doesn't have the Taylor logo on it, don't let it through the front door. Thanks a lot for your time this morning, Justin. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Jeff.